Minasan, konnichiwa, squishy toke, yakuso. Today we are in the Shiobara area and we are staying at Akasawa Onsen Ryokan and it's my first time staying in a Ryokan so I am super excited. The scenery here is absolutely spectacular and I cannot wait to show you and experience this with you guys. Anyway, if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it. The scenery here is absolutely stunning. There are mountains behind me, a river, trees. It's so peaceful here and relaxing and you can hear the birds. It's truly, truly wonderful. So even before you enter the building, you can see so many facilities just outside. There's a gorgeous pond over here, and right in front of me, there's also a terrace with outdoor seating, and they even have plug sockets. So if you want to work remotely from here in the gorgeous weather with this fantastic scenery, you can absolutely do that. This is really lovely. There's actually a roof, so even if it starts raining, you're protected. There's little lamps as well, so you could sit here if it's not so bright outside. It's really nice here. I kind of wish I'd bought my laptop because then I would totally sit here and work. It's very interesting because work is something that's usually stressful, so it's really nice to counteract that with this incredible view. It's super, super relaxing. This Ryokan is actually home to four cats, so if you love animals, this is the perfect place to be. They also let you bring your pets here as well, which I feel like is super rare, and I love that so much because sometimes your pets also need a vacation. Speaking of pets, I can see one of the cats over there, and I'm going to go and see if it wants to play with me. <laughs> So next to the terrace, there are actually some glamping facilities, which I'm really impressed by because I know glamping is something that's quite new, but it's very, very popular. So it's nice that this is also here. Let's go and check it out. I love the outside of this because it looks like an igloo. It looks like it belongs in a really cold area. Anyway, let's go in. Wow. This is so spacious and so modern. It doesn't feel like this is not a permanent structure, right? Like it doesn't feel like a tent or anything. It's amazing. And the view as well is wonderful. You have this massive open section here where you can see outside. It's also really warm in here too. And it looks so comfortable in here. I would love to stay here. This looks amazing. I feel like it's perfect for people who don't want to stay completely outside. It's like that nice balance between a hotel room and actual camping. I guess that's why they call it glamping, glamorous camping. So I thought if you were glamping and you wanted to use the bathroom or have a shower, I thought you might have to go into the Yolkan to do that. Oh no, they've got you covered out here. Wow. <laughs> There was so much to see and do outside and we're not even inside yet. So it's time to finally see what it's like inside. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> so there's a cat at the information desk. Let's go and say hi. Excuse me, excuse me, hi. Um, can I check in please? <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> So we're in the lobby right now and Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi. So there's not only cats here but also dogs as well as you could just see and I absolutely love it. I feel like it really adds to the relaxing atmosphere. I feel more relaxed when I'm around animals so I'm absolutely loving this. But anyway <laughs> But anyway, as I was saying, the lobby here is extremely spacious and it's got such a cozy vibe. It's absolutely lovely. Let's look around. 
So the atmosphere here is completely different from any other hotel I've ever been in. It's very cozy, it's very warm and inviting. The windows are absolutely huge, so you get a spectacular view just in the lobby. And overall, I really like it. I feel instantly relaxed as soon as I walk in. It's truly, truly lovely. So this area is still in the lobby and I absolutely love it because you have this gorgeous view, some coffee or tea, and it's just the perfect way to relax without even being in your room yet. So already when you walk in, you're greeted by friendly staff, gorgeous animals, and then you get to sit here and relax and enjoy the scenery with a nice hot drink. This is amazing. I don't think I've ever been this relaxed before I've even gotten to my room yet. <laughs> So this New York can has 12 rooms and I think that's the perfect amount because you still see other guests but there's not so many so they're still able to maintain that relaxing atmosphere. Anyway, let's go and check out some of the rooms. So they have a range of yukata here in different colors and sizes so you can use these to go to the onsen. Even on the second floor they have these massive windows here so when you come out of your room in the morning the first thing you're greeted with is a spectacular view and I absolutely love that. Let me show you the room we're going to be staying in. It's so spacious in here. It's really big in here and there's even a kotatsu, which I love. And it's a really big one as well. It's not even a small kotatsu. It's really, really large. This would be amazing in winter. And I love that there's a seating area over here with a fantastic view of the mountain and a fridge. Wow. <laughs> Let's look at the view. Oh, wow. You can see the mountain and you can see the pond here as well. It's absolutely beautiful. This is exactly what I want to wake up to every morning. I love the traditional Japanese sleeping style. So here we have futon and it's already been prepared for us. So we didn't need to assemble it or organize it at all. It's all ready for me to just climb in and go to sleep. <laughs> It's really nice to be sitting under the kotatsu, reading, and also they have onsen manju. So I'm gonna try this. Let's do it. Itadakimasu. Mm. I really feel like I'm in an onsen area when I eat onsen manju. And it's really delicious. It's so sweet. And I love the red beans filling in the middle. It's the perfect little treat. And this is just a great combination. Manju, kotatsu, book, heaven, really. Hmm. <laughs> So earlier I showed you the yukata and I think it's time I put one on and went to the onsen. Finally, let's go. This is my first time ever going to an onsen and it's also an outdoor onsen and I'm really, really excited, but I'm also kind of nervous because I don't know what to expect. Let's just do it. <laughs> so I am wearing yukata and it's really nice. It's very comfortable and I love this pink basket that was provided by the ryokan and I have my towels in here and I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm really surprised at how deep it is. It's really deep. I'm almost completely submerged. In fact, if I sit properly, <laughs> it goes up to my neck. <laughs> but it feels really nice. So apparently this onsen is kind of different because the temperature of the water isn't as hot as other onsens. And I really like that because I'm quite sensitive to hot water. So for me, this is the perfect temperature. And I absolutely love the view with all of the trees and everything. This is so relaxing. I can't believe I didn't do it sooner. So I have a towel on at the moment and I have special permission for that. So usually you wouldn't wear a towel inside the onsen, but I have special permission to do that today. Another thing to mention is that this onsen is actually tattoo friendly. So if you have tattoos, you are totally welcome here. 
It smells really nice in here. And I love that you can see the water coming out from just over there. And you can hear it as well. And it's such a relaxing noise. So just outside, there are also some outdoor onsens. So let's go and check those out. I have never been more in nature in my life than I am right now. This is so magical. I'm literally sat outside in a hot spring, surrounded by trees and mountains. It's absolutely incredible. I love Japan. This is such an authentic Japanese experience. I love it so much. It's breathtaking. It really, really is. That was so much fun and it was really, really relaxing. And I definitely think I need to try onsens far more often. It was such a great experience and I'm really glad I got to do it today. I feel like my skin is the softest it's ever been now. And that I guess is just one of the very many benefits of hot springs. So as you can probably tell, uh, this is a fantastic place to have a wedding party if you're interested. And this scenery behind me is spectacular. Just above me is a cherry blossom tree. It's not quite in bloom yet, but it's still absolutely beautiful. And behind me over here are the remnants of an old rice field. So this area behind me used to be a rice field and those rocks are from that area, which is really, really cool. So it's kind of like a piece of history. I never thought I'd be doing things like climbing a tree whilst wearing a wedding dress. But now I can add that to the list of things I never thought I would do in Japan. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. It's hard work, but it's a lot of fun. This is what you can do at Akasawa Onsen. Climb trees in wedding dresses, <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> it's getting pretty late now, so let's go and get some dinner. As you can see, I'm ready for dinner and I'm super excited because there's already so much on the table and I cannot wait to dig in. I will mention you can't order food from a menu. The meals are different every single day, but I love that. I think it's part of the experience and it encourages you to try new things. So we have quite the selection of meats here. There's pork, venison and ankle as well. So we have quite a lot. We have a large selection of vegetables here and they are all from the local area. So you won't be able to taste these anywhere else. So there's a lot of agriculture in Shiobara because it's so full of nature and I still think about how beautiful it is. <laughs> it's actually such a gorgeous place. So I'm going to start with some ankimo and it looks really delicious. Itadakimasu. Mm. Mm. That was so delicious. It melts in your mouth and it has got quite a fishy flavor, but it's totally pleasant. Wow. <laughs> I have some pork here in the ankimono tare soup and I'm excited. Let's just try it. Ooh. So this is masu, which is a fish from Tochigi Prefecture, and I'm really excited to try it. It's very similar to salmon, but it's a different fish. <laughs> I love that I now have the opportunity to try local fresh food. So that fish is extremely fresh and it's been caught in the local area. Wow, <laughs> it's really delicious. You can tell by the way it falls apart in your mouth how fresh it is. 
So one of the many, many things I love about this Lior Khan is the staff are from absolutely all over the world, which is so amazing because in a small area like Shiobara, you don't expect to see that. So it's really, really refreshing and they're all super, super friendly. And if you are currently living outside of Japan and you're interested in coming to Japan to work for a while, they do offer working holidays here. So that's definitely something to look into if you're interested. And all of the staff here seem super happy, so I definitely would recommend it. I think it's a great opportunity because you get to experience Japanese culture whilst working, making money and meeting new people. And honestly, what could be better than that? Dinner was absolutely fantastic. Everything was so delicious. I'm so happy and so full right now. And I think it's time for me to get ready for bed. So I will see you guys in the morning. Oyasumi nasai. Good morning. I had a wonderful sleep last night. It was extremely relaxing. And as you can see, it is a beautiful day here again. So one of the other really cool things to mention about Akasawa on Senryokan is you can rent cars here, just like this convertible behind me. I think that's such a fantastic thing to offer. It's incredibly useful and I can't imagine how fun it would be to drive around the area in a open top car like this one. Also, the owner of the Ryokan provides rental properties. They have amazing facilities here, a kitchen, bathroom, a beautiful terrace area where you can have a barbecue. There's also a dog run, so if you have a dog, it's perfect for that. Anyway, that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to explore more of this Shiobara area, but let me know in the comment section below where your favorite area is to stay overnight in Japan, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.